Yo, this is Tone Capone, and you're getting lifted to the sounds of my DJ, DJ Spaceship. Go ahead and beam him up, boy. Let's get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Greetings and greetings and greetings and greetings greetings and salutations from us to all the nations. We're about to get loose, strictly for entertainment. We're repping Tampa Bay, ten toes down. It's waves of the bay. No, we ain't playing around. Saturday from ten to twelve. Make sure you ride the wave. It's Tone Capone and DJ Spaceship on your airwaves. We're mixing interviews, R and B and hip hop. We're blasting off, and the top is just a pit stop. This is WMNF 88.5 Tampa. You guys are rocking out with Waves of the Bay right here. Uh, Tampa, Florida, man. It's Saturday night, April 11th up here. Feeling good, feeling right. Spaceship's been doing Did you just thing. say Florida? You know, I try to do my you, thing. You, you done been here too long. I'm trying to do I, I, ain't, I, I can't clap go your with hands. the... Tone is now Floridian. Hey, he I said I can't Florida. do the whole bay. Tampa, Florida. And the bike. You, I don't, you're doing good. Man, I was all kinds of messed up when I got down here. I was like, what the hell y'all talking about? So do you know what I'm talking about? I know, man, that's 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 the universal. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, that's yeah, universal. Yeah, I give you that one. I give you that one. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Well, it's a little bit different. You know, I'm from the Midwest. So the Midwest and the South ain't that much different. The West is completely different. Man, they got a whole world. other lingo yeah, out there. Yeah, they flipping birds and pigeons and stuff, man. Yeah, man. This is what we do, man. Follow us on social media at Waves of the Bay. If you guys miss an episode, you can follow us on all the platforms. I'm talking about all the platforms. iHeart, Spotify, whatever. Just search for Waves of the Bay FM. You'll see it right there. Find us at uh, tone-capone.com. I spell Capone with a K. You spell it with a C. You will not see me. So please make sure you spell it right. During this Rona time, I'm about to redo the webpage, bro. I'm telling you right now. You know, I've been on um, with all this downtime, man, like... I've been, uh, amongst other things I've been dealing with, I decided to get into that and create my own website again. About time. It's coming along. It's coming along. Um, I just don't have patience for stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but with this, you have nothing but time, and you got to have patience. I like the control so. of it, man. I like to be able to update stuff and change stuff out when I want to. That's the, that's the whole thing. But see, I, I guess for me, like, I never knew how to do the whole process of creating it and I can just tell you what I want and let you put something together and, and go from there. But it's kind of cool sitting back, you know, putting it together piece by piece and, you know, adding this and subtracting that. The type thing of stuff. addictive, bro. Listen, <laughs> I have to <laughs> watch addictive. myself. I got the app on the phone to update pictures and all that stuff. So you man, know, you're addictive. a little ahead of me now. I teach you a few things with that, you know. But it is what I'm it down, is, I'm man. I'm down. This is Ways of the Bay, episode 22, up here once again, WMNF 88.5 Tampa. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. Thank you for listening to us. We give y'all hopefully a couple hours of relief from what's going on in the real world, but also keeping the music up to date and just introducing y'all to people that's actually doing stuff around Tampa Bay. So uh, with that being said, man, our, we're going to get into this interview right here. Ship, you should uh, slide over a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Get, make sure you're in the, in the view right quick, you know what I'm saying? But uh, let's go ahead and introduce Stephanus to the, to, the, to the area right here. We had you on the podcast before uh there's no I'm, i'll let people know up front this is the lady that braids my hair graffiti braids she's been keeping me tight for the last year probably maybe a little bit longer so uh when it comes to that if you're trying to get your hair right make well whenever everything is is over with you know make sure you holler at steph let's get your hair right and it's an amazing spoken word artist i know more about you than a lot of people do because we talk and everything but you got a lot going on. We appreciate you coming out here, spending a few moments with us, and, and just talking about what's going on, too. So Definitely. I appreciate y'all inviting me through. Um, times are tough, but we putting in that work regardless, right? Because gotcha. <laughs> while everybody's sleeping and everything else is on pause, we have to create that content because as artists and content creators, it's our job to keep the people going, right? Gotcha. With, 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 all, this, with all this stuff that's happening in... You know, in the world, people turn to artists for relief, right? You know, you want to watch your movies created by an artist, right. TV shows, music, artists. So, yeah, time to time to bless these people with some some beautiful content. It's time for you to shine right now. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh my goodness, it's been such an eventful couple of weeks, fellas. I'm telling you, I have had three different competitions. On my Instagram, and it's been popping. Now let's actually talk about that because I, I wanted to get into that, like how with the, everything that's going on with COVID nineteen, the Rona, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that Rona, you Rona. adjusting on the fly. Explain that to me because I've seen the IG Idol taking it's off Pisces. and things like it's that. Like, <laughs> shout out Very to the Pisces. Fluid. Very fluid. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy because internet platforms have been my go-to since the beginning. 
like I have been utilizing different various social medias to take my art to the next level because as a mom as a full-time mom entrepreneur educator all that all the things that I do so you know the things that I do yeah it's it's hard for me to find time to go to these events and promote myself physically so when everything went virtual it's like we're in my playground now right right <laughs> this is your realm right here right right so I, I definitely adjusted quickly and you're actually one of the people I thought about when everything went kind of like you know internet wise data wise media wise because you have a presence online and like whenever you post I, I'll, I'll follow along I'll be laughing at the stuff all the time man because you know what it is <laughs> like I'll watch that for this post a picture five minutes later 200 likes on it like damn <laughs> So how have you been using that like as leverage for what you're doing? So I definitely use my image to bring attention to my craft because, you know, I'm, I can't I can't ignore the fact that I'm a female and right. that I'm attractive. So and, and I say that very humbly, you know, just a, pr- a perspective. It's a Pisces thing. It's we a all Pisces. <laughs> and so I definitely will take those model pictures post them and be like oh by the way i did this you know so that would then pour into the content that i actually want you to see the picture of me is whatever like i'm not one to anybody who follows me knows i'm not one to be in the car on this this constantly constantly posting pictures of myself but if i'm dropping something you're gonna see a picture before beforehand you gotta respect that yeah nothing wrong with that so like how is it that let's let's take a step back for a second. How is it that you keeping your mind like keeping your creative juices flowing to do what you're doing with the different competitions you got going on? Okay, so the biggest thing for me was giving back. Right. Okay? Like me what prompted the start of all these competitions was everywhere that I looked, all these artists that I see are now getting their bookings canceled. Yeah. The the ones that made really good money doing these shows yeah. don't have an income now. Yeah. It's all you gone. know what I'm saying? It's all gone. So me being in the in the state that I'm in, right. I'm good. Like I, I my bills are taken care of and, and things are, are looking up for me, but in my position I felt like there was a need to gift others right you know if like if I'm good I don't have to worry about my immediate needs I'm straight right. and, and I have multiple sources of income to carry me through this and savings please be please if anything you take away from this is save and be frugal but was that I needed to create a place where people could make some bread and right. do so in the comforts of their home so the first one was a poet slam right okay and <laughs> I, it, in, in doing all these lives and connecting with people, I was able to, you know, tap into poet scenes in, in New York, in Cali, right, right. everywhere. So That's I'm, crazy. Man. I'm building up like yeah. this big old poetry community just from hopping in on people's lives and just talking my Timing, stuff. Right? I promise y'all. Right. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to pay these artists. These artists are amazing at what they do. Right. And if I bring them to my page and put on a competition, not only would it be entertaining for the folks at home who don't really have nothing to do. Yeah, everybody home. You know, these these artists are talking real stuff like yeah. depression, yeah. you know, anxiety. These are So they're sharing their art and they will have a, a place to, to get paid for it. Why not? Right. Yeah. And we also gave away a, a $50 to a lucky viewer. So I hit up some sponsors and I was like, look. This is what I'm doing. Um, we trying to pay people for their art. Mm-hmm. How much you trying to put down? And if you do, I'll put on a screen behind me your at so that people can follow you right. and support our supporters, right? Because we want to support the people who invest in mm-hmm. art. Right. There was a huge response from that. So I was able to gift a Poet Slam winner 100, and then I was, I was able to gift a viewer 100. Right. So I was like... Whoa! I was like, I might be onto something. You here. might be onto something. <laughs> it happened so quickly at the same time. Like mm-hmm. that's that's one of them things. Like you saw the opportunity and you ran with it. Oh yeah, definitely. And so then it was like, okay, I saw how the winner reacted to. As um, shout out to Symbolic Night, he was the winner of the Poet Slam. Uh, I saw how he reacted to that, and it was like it was impactful for him because he felt accomplished. Right. Mm-hmm. Because he did something, he won a competition from the comfort of his home. So I was like, I want to see that reaction more. Right. So the next week, I set up a rap battle, 
and I all the rappers. Rapper. They had to get crazy. <laughs> they were talking sideways. Like, you know how those rappers' egos can There's get sometimes. There's a lot of, like, house rappers anyways, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it, they it don't get, actually get out there on the It give them a chance can, because at the end of the... open it. Yeah. Every, everybody wants to be recognized or at least acknowledged for what they're doing. So by you putting this platform together, it gave, it gave a lot of people... You know, give them exactly. a chance to be heard, seen, right, without, and see what's out there competition-wise too. Exactly, without the anxiety of having to go on a stage. It's a, it's a lot that goes into that. A lot of people think you just get up there to to do poetry, to uh, even to do what you're doing with your own platform. Because if it if it goes south, then people looking like okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, it takes a lot to get on the stage, man. And <laughs> it does. And so, like, now these people are also seeing other people's crowd presence. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you got a rapper who's really dope at what he does, mm-hmm. and he's killing the whole competition, which shout out to AQ the God, because he took the whole competition. Um, if you if you see a rapper, like, who who's passionate and has that drive, you as a competitor who maybe not maybe not that strong will see him and become inspired by his presence and want to work on your craft. Right. So now it's beneficial to everybody who's watching. Right. You know say you get constructive, you know, criticism, you get you see how a crowd responds in a very organized way cuz right. in a club, you can't see what everybody's thinking. You can't see thinking. everybody, you can't, you know. You can't see what everybody's thinking. Like everybody's thoughts don't pop up on nah, the screen. I wish they did. You see, that would be that'd be, that'd be dope. Right? That's, That's so much people in trouble right Jetsons, there. Jetsons. Oh, I know I I'd be in a lot of trouble, man. Oh, but I would be in a lot of trouble. Dang, ship, you had to say it like that yeah, shit. Yeah. Come on, ship. Hey, uh, you oh, remember especially me? the behind the stuff stuff. Man. Man, yeah. man listen, you trying to get me in trouble right now with that one, Tonka. But at the end of the day, I'm going to talk to you, not talk about you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want me to talk about you, hey, I have no problem talking ain't. about you. I'm hey, sorry. listen. You know. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's where the mask be reminded these cats at, man. Like, listen. a lot of these cats ain't know until the Rona hit. Now listen. they got to smell it. Now they got to smell it. Right. Breath, and bro. some of them just, they just still blind to it. I know that ain't mine. That's got to be somebody else. Well, sap sucker, who else you think right. breathing? Not breathing, breathing. Now you stuck with your own fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Baptized with the fount. Man, this way is the bad episode 22. <laughs> We're talking with Steph for this right here, Listen, man. Listen, man. We talking about the fount. Man, today was Instagram Idol. And when I tell you these singers... Okay, so last week was the rap battle. Before okay. that was the Poet Slam. All right. This, tonight, was the Instagram Idol. And when I tell you these singers... These singers came with it. Oh yeah! Like I'm talking about, they came with it. And if if y'all want to see at all of the events, I'm not gonna tell you who won. I'm not gonna tell you what the competition was like. You gotta go to my story mm-hmm. right after this and go because it's gonna be up for 24 hours. Okay. So you gotta go to my story right after this and check it out so you can see what the battle was like. But they came with it. So What's your look- ID information. Oh, so it's at Steffortlessly. It's like a version of the word. Effortlessly, but just put an ST in front. Very simple. There we go. Very simple. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> so, can we see? So, you, you did the poets, you did the rappers, and tonight was the singers. Mm-hmm. Where do you see you taking it to, uh, next? Or are you gonna just like like do like a collage, or just like go back to the top with it? You're gonna have to stay tuned. I got three more battles that are already lined up. Okay. I got. I even got the, my eyes on certain competitors. Who okay. I feel like But I'm gonna take it To the next level With these battles And these sponsors Are like really Doing their thing So as long as These sponsors Continue to bless Which I'm gonna manifest that Cause it, right. it's really A mind thing As long as you put out A need out Speaking there into existence You align yourself yeah. properly You magnetize yourself For anything that you want So I'm gonna say That we're gonna have All the sponsors That we need For all these events And we're gonna keep Paying these artists To do their thing Gotcha And that's that's something By you doing that That's something That could spark a hunger In somebody To take their artistry To the next level Whether mm-hmm. it be from promoting once a week to two times a week. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the motivation just to know, okay, I did this platform. She gave me an opportunity and people are actually rocking with me. And this is something I'm continue to do because it's, it feels good to get a pat on the back, you know. Mm-hmm. It does. Because I like to get a pat on the back. <laughs> I like to grow my hair back too. But that's not going to happen as far as the hair growing back. But my pat on the back is, you know, having people such as you come in and share what, what it is that you do. And give us the vision and direction that you're going. And I mean, every time talking to you, it's 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 enlightening. It's enlightening. And earlier we had a conversation with speaking about sage and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Which one do you prefer, the blue sage or the white sage? I prefer Palo Santo. Oh, okay. <laughs> break it down. More. Break it down. <laughs> the difference with that in the blue and the white sage and so, then Palo Santo. Okay, so I use white sage at home. It's kind of kind of like a very you know basic cleanse. Palo Santo goes a little extra. For okay. energy A lot of people don't know That energy can Really manifest itself Within you Right Like You could walk into your house You know And you've uh, and, a, and energy has attached itself to you Right And because of that Your wife or your husband Might be acting a little more Aggressively towards you yeah. Has nothing to do with you yeah. Or them They could have picked it up somewhere It's just that energy Yeah That ca- does attached itself to you So I always tell people The importance of Cleansing yourself When you enter your home Cleansing your home On a daily basis Somebody comes over To your house Yeah If they don't like Being sage Sage after they leave Yeah You know what I'm saying <laughs> But I sure will Come up to you With my sage And be like I'm gonna put this Around you real quick <laughs> Because I You know I wanna stop it from, from even entering my home Right right Because I'm very sensitive To energy Well you gotta be careful With people that you Let in your home Period Even mm-hmm. with the sage And stuff you know mm-hmm. Because Especially in this day and age Yeah man I mean you, you gotta worry About the bad energies You gotta worry About that Rona And then you just Gotta <laughs> worry about Jack boys That too yeah, Hygiene bro. Hygiene is a mug too Because like People gotta You should've been Washing your hands You should've been Brushing your teeth You should've been Cleaning the crust Out your eyes And dotting your T's And stuff like that But <laughs> it's, it's How does How does how does You With the The, the sage and, and everything Help you with your artistry Like Okay so Like I think I think that is an important staple for me when I do performances. Gotcha. Like I don't know if y'all have ever seen me, but it's almost like I have. I, not it's almost like I have social anxiety. Right, right. I cannot be around a lot of people all the time, which is why it goes back to what I was saying before mm-hmm. to you, Tone. Was that the online platform was my thing? That works great for you. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I don't, I don't. To, I'm, like I said, I'm sensitive to energy. So if right, I'm in a room right. for a lot of people, there's a lot of energy fluctuations, and I just kind of stay to myself. Anybody who see me, they'll see me come up into a show. Y'all see me? Yeah, you play, you play, you play your corner. I go to the back somewhere, yeah. and then when y'all call, yeah, yeah, I go to the back somewhere, right. wait for y'all to call me, and then I come and I do my thing. Afterwards, I'll hand out my cards, and then I'll leave. <laughs> so, is it safe to say that you're an extroverted introvert? Um, I think the term for it is ambivert. Okay. Right? But not amber alert. Ambervert. Not amber alert. <laughs> okay, ambervert because woo. I don't know how I would react if I seen an amber alert. Stephanie. What well where's she going? What her grown what, ass? What is happening? Just uh, okay, well, maybe she went to go get some sage or something like that. Or, I mean, I don't know. Trying to run but away I, from I, that I get, Yeah, that hey. <laughs> who knows? Six months from now, we might be running from stormtroopers. <laughs> Really ain't no telling, man. Yeah. But yeah, so like that that's kinda like my way of cleaning myself after a performance, right? right? So then then I teamed up with uh my business partner partner, shout out to Daddy Chief. We created an Shout out on- to Daddy Chief. Shout out to Daddy Chief. Chief. Hey. So he just gonna say the last part. <laughs> <laughs> he just gonna say the last part, right? He He's he he saying that because of, you know. I don't know about that. So. <laughs> I'm vice president of AADM.world, and he's the president. And we're creating this platform for, like, almost like a business social media platform okay. where it'll take out the, the, the crust and the additives of uh, trying to promote yourself right. on an online platform. On Instagram, you see we got to go to your link tree to be able to access videos on here, there, you know, what you did the past few weeks that's not available on Instagram, blog, right. space, all that. On AADM.world, we have everything. Right. We have all inclusive. Like, and the the do- the dope thing about our site is that, which is it's under construction right now. Okay. Because we working still. No, nothing wrong we with working. that. That's working is better than we nothing. Working. That's right. You know, uh, okay. while they sleeping, we gotta work. There you go. But um, this site allows people to approach you res- respectfully mm-hmm. with a, with a, with an offer, not coming to your DMs like, hey, I was wondering if you could come DJ at my Listen, event for the free. I- or for exposure. Or for exposure. exposure. Somebody, I won't say no names, but somebody $40. was like, at $40, let me do get my nails done. <laughs> I can't even get my nails done right now. <laughs> the nail shop is closed, but I've had people say, you know, do it for the love, do it for the culture, and exposure. I'm like, I do FM radio. I do this, I do that. Like, 
I, I, I have the exposure. I'm looking for the check. Mm-hmm. Check is for the, the tribe. I'm mm-hmm. looking for the opportunity to get the check. Well, people will try you like that. And I know people have tried you like that in the past, but you got all these credentials. Right. And, and same with you. We ain't right. checking for that no more. Nah. Like, nah, we way past that. No, nah, exactly. Like, to me, it's like I'm, I'm my own marketing group. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm my, my own marketing team. Marketing is an essential part of everything that I do. So it's like... This platform will allow you to be approached the way that you should be as an as a working artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not doing nothing. We we want to get exposed, yes, but we want to also get paid for what we do if we do it well. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I would I would get it if you still you upcoming like you you been doing this. You have been doing this. Yeah, I used to have hell when I first started. Yeah. Waves. Well, you got to yeah. pay you got to pay yeah, your the dues. Real waves yeah. of the bay. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay your dues, mm-hmm. right? But once you've established yourself, now approach me with respect and come into my DM with right. an offer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come into my DM with bartering. I'll barter with you. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like you can hey, can you host my event? I'll do your hair for the next month. Or two, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and you, I won't charge you. We could barter. But see, people got away from the whole bartering. Like they, like I've had people, like what Over I do every year. Promise under perform or yeah. under whatever you want. Because make it, man. the thing about it, like, I, I do I do free events? Yes. Do I barter? Yes. But it's not going to be on some old well. Well, Stephalus, Stephalus did this. You should know. It's, don't tell me what the next person's doing. Mm-hmm. Let you and I talk, and we could come to an agreement on something. You see what I'm saying? So, yes. It's a lot of people. I don't know if a lot of people know what the definition of barter is anymore. No. But I, I would definitely so. enlighten you if you come to my environment. Everybody's trying to get over on yeah. everybody, man. That's the thing about, like, big cities to me. Like, this, it's different where I'm from. At least back then when I was. It's probably the same now. Mm-hmm. Like, everything has changed now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. people just, like, it's not. They're not really trying to come up. They're not trying to build. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to build, you're able to barter with people. When you're it's trying the, to just get over on folks, you're just trying to get over and be It's out. the importance of relationships, yeah. man, because mm-hmm. today, this person might be the, for, the forerunner. They might have to be in the front. They might have to be the person that's seen. But everybody's so stuck on want to be seen, heard, and, you know, publicized everywhere. But then when it turns bad, you got to have that same energy because... Publicity, good or bad, publicity is publicity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like Easy E said, I paid. I think he said he paid a thousand dollars for a million dollars worth of promotion with the whole White House situation. Mm-hmm. So you got to be ready for the good, bad, and the ugly, and just keep keep your right crew of people, your team around you, and keep swinging for the fences. Yeah, and keep working. You, yeah, yeah. You got to have that discernment. Like I, I got a lot of people who be like, oh, you know, follow for you know, follow me back or da da da, and I'm like, if you want people to follow you. You got to give them something worth following. Give me substance. If you want people to barter with you, you got to keep your word. Mm-hmm. You got to be known for that. Like, it's people, it's crazy because people would tell me, oh, like, how do I know you're going to hold up your end of the barter? I'm like, well, if you Google, if you in Tampa, Google yeah. braids and you'll see my five star business pop up. Yeah. If you go on my, in, if you go on my Facebook for Stephalus and my, my Facebook for graffiti braids. You will see over 25 star reviews. Yeah. Not one person is saying, oh, she don't do business well. Oh, no, she was a great addition to my playwright. She was a great addition to my show. She's a great actress. She's this, she's this, she's that. So you have to not only establish yourself as being someone who does business, good business, but keep your word. I got a question for you. Mm-hmm. Have you, because I know, like, like I, just to touch back up on this, um, I know energy is you're big on that, and so as I am myself. Have you ever did a performance with Sage Burning or anything like that? Because going to these different venues, you have so many different people out there. So somebody might be having a bad day or just going through it. Have you ever thought about like performing with Sage Burning? That's interesting. No, I haven't haven't done it. But it's an interesting concept to think. I think that I wouldn't just for the simple fact that there's a lot of misconceptions surrounded by Sage. Right. A lot of people who are deep in the Christian faith. They view sage as an element of witchcraft. Right, right. And, you know, it, it goes back to us being held at gunpoint and told to follow a Believe certain this. religion right. to remove us from our power, to take us away from our source. Right. You know what I'm saying? To, to say, oh, God is in the sky and not within us. So just leave everything to him and don't do nothing for yourself. Listen, when it comes to that <laughs> religion and stuff, man, I... I put out there where I'm at and I just listen to other people. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the topics I put on Facebook and Instagram at DJ Spaceship. You be having me diet. Yeah, I, what I do, I like Controversial. The, I, it, not I just love that. This. I, I like the text platform. message like, what's wrong with Spaceship? I love, no, no, I love I, it. I put you stuff, stir the pot. I love you, it. But this is my thing. I like to get people to see how you're thinking. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's like a lot of people want to be politically correct. 
And I be wanting to say to some people's response sometimes, player, I know you. Quit mm-hmm. bowling. Mm-hmm. Quit quit lying. Right. You know, it, it's okay to be have an unpopular opinion mm-hmm. because I'm not always on a popular side as well. Right. So with you as you know, as we know your mother, how does that help you tap into your sensitive side as an artist? What what is what exactly? As being a as a being a, a mother, how does that help you tap into your sensitivity when you know writing and putting pieces together to perform for the masses? Oh my God, it is so inspiring being a mother. Shout out to my little prince. He's he is the source of of everything. That's He's the homie, source. Man. What? And he loves he loves your daughter. I know he do. <laughs> I gotta keep. Uh oh. Uh oh! Hey, he's gonna be a boss. I'm just saying, he, he raised right. I'm I don't. Just saying. Way, I don't want to say this, but I'm available so. for weddings <laughs> and stuff. I'm just, you know. She's told me some stuff that she's doing with him, like okay. as as a kid, and it's like, all right, I like that. Like you're like good foundation. Yeah, I told you that when you told me. You know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like we're doing a, we wanted to do a lemonade stand this spring. You okay. know, um, to to have him get an idea of how money circulates, right? How saving is. For him to fund his own toys. We could right. go to Walmart and, and I, every time when I was younger, it was, Mommy, can I have this? You got that kind of money? Right. It was, your, <laughs> right. Mommy, I want McDonald's. You got McDonald's money. Right. Mommy, I want a bar. You got a Barbie money? Right. So I wanted to be able to eliminate that barrier for a child and see what how he would thrive with having financial ability. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we go to the store. My baby just made $30 from his lemonade stand. Papi, you got $30. You could come and you could get this one toy that's $29.99. Right, right. Or you could get five that's this. And now he's like, okay, well, I'm on a budget. Or Mm -hmm. you could save your money to go to Bush Gardens whenever you want to. Right. And then now it's your, you call the shots. So then now you on my team. Now we're making plays together. You only five. You only six. Okay. And you telling, you sitting down with me and you saying, Ma, um, why don't we go to, to Orlando today? Why don't we go to Disney? I'm like, well, how much you got saved up? Well, this I got this for my right. ticket. The ticket for Disneyland is whatever this, and I got it. I'm like, all right, well, babe. Don't lay it out. Since you got the ticket, yeah. I got the food and the gas. Let's be out. If Rona wasn't in in, in effect right now, five dollars is definitely gas money again right now. But <laughs> unfortunately, everything closed. So I remember back when five dollars was gas right. money. But I remember gas ninety two cents. I remember when it was in the sixty cents. Oh, y'all, y'all saw your age. I mean, I wasn't driving at the time. Yeah, I looked the same. I posted a picture yesterday. At yeah. twenty years you apart. I looked the same with you some gray. Do. Yeah, little gray, little salt and pepper, a little more weight. All these folks I graduated can't say that. Man. Listen, I show Winnie pictures all the time. Like, yo, how old do you think they are? I had a post up recently, um, aging like fine wine, and like it was. Crack. Listen, I'm gonna say it like this: it was some beautiful people posting pictures in that that uh, in that feed, and I went back and looked a couple times. Like it was some people that caught me off guard. I felt I was, out of place because you, you, you said 28, and I was like, damn, I was just two years younger because you was like 28. Put and it in there. Like, but damn. honestly, you know, but this the thing: you know how many people still didn't follow you feel old instructions talk right there. Yeah. <laughs> People don't, and, and I mean, I could have put 18, you know what uh, I'm saying? I mean, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, but that, that's young, though. Man, listen, we, we put, it, young. Put, your, put your picture in there, man. This put is Ways of the Bay, episode 22. We're talking with Stafferless right now, spoken word artist, graffiti breeze, president, just entrepreneur extraordinaire. I want to... Uh, I want to do a couple of things, actually. I want to kind of put you on the spot. I want to have you just deliver a poem since we actually have you here. Oh. And it's been a while since we've been able to do, like, the Ride the Wave segment. Okay. But I also want to talk about the last time that we had you here. Actually, the first time that we had you here. Okay. You came through with Neckley Under Construction. Shout out Ryder Reyes. We, we miss out. you, yo. We miss you. <laughs> but thank you for helping us build what we're doing here. But after we got done for our show and we posted the, the whole summary of everything that went on, we had some people come back at us. We still talk bad about these cats, you know. We still talk in our ish, well, you know. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. But at the same time, it's like <laughs> we had just really like met each other, and you came back and defended us when other people was talking bad about us. Mm-hmm. So what made you decide to do that? Like we had just interacted like very recently. One word: energy. Mm. See, when I met y'all, I could oh, I have I have the gift of foresight. A lot of people don't have foresight. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And that's and that's what helps me in marketing as well as my business with my child, everything in life, having foresight. So I'm grateful. But when you go around certain people and you feel a vibe mm-hmm. and you 
you know that these people are onto something. You know that they got good intentions. You know that right. they got good energy. You want to attach your movement or sense of you know uh, of camaraderie as co-workers in the same. Right. You know, because we are we just co-workers in the same entertainment business, right? right? On, in right in on. the area of Tampa Bay. So I, but you know, if once we come together and build that team as a collective, we got so much power than as opposed to us being individuals. Screw the numbers. Right. So when I saw who, the person who came at Charles specifically, I you, still ain't seen this dude, man. I've been looking. <laughs> I haven't been looking that hard. Right, right, right. It's crazy. I, still I haven't mean, seen this dude. It, it's crazy. Like a platform that's already a platform, format, a system, whatever you want to call it. It's it's already been there before all of us. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So right. it's like it's like the wheel. You put the white wall on there. You put the, the uh, what do you call them? The, the spinners. The, the spinners on there. You put the twenties on there. Mm-hmm. The eighty folds poking out, and it. it's it's all about flavor. You know, you put your own little. We in the kitchen cooking. Exactly. So um, and then it's crazy because some people will get inspired by my work and be like, yo. Stuff, can I play make a play off words off of this line or can right. I do I'm like yo take it like you know there was a time where I was putting stuff out that wasn't copyrighted right. and people were like why are you doing that that's stupid I'm like cause I got so much more like come out of that they might see this person might get 10 viewers from what they got I'm getting thousands right so at the end of the day do what you do right. I'ma still be great right you feel me so when that when that stuff happened with you and 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 they came at you I went and I did my research and I'm, I peep that. All I saw. I that. All I saw was culture vulture. <laughs> all this happened before I even saw what had happened, Joe. Like I'm yeah. getting screenshots before I had even seen yeah. what had happened. Yeah. I, I, I was like, what? I peeped that. I was like, what? <laughs> before I can jump into the whole scenario, I seen where you was going. I said, well, let me sit back and see where she going because one thing that I've known and I've learned through life, a man can't be the one. A man can be the woman physically. Mm-hmm. There's some women out there that mm-hmm. knock your head, boy. You know, they bust your head, <laughs> but. With that tongue, you know, a woman, a Some woman, it, she can cut kill you. To the ground, man, boy. listen. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Nah, I said it Especially best. Especially Latinas. Nah, <laughs> listen, nah, nah, I said it best. My tongue is power. It, it thrills women and kills demons. Yes. And same with a woman. When a woman, man, she can... Thr- thrill men and, yeah. and kill some demons. So no, I had I, when you were speaking, less. yeah, bro. I, a whole day. No, I did. I Listen. had to. I had to. I, I felt. I felt the need to do that because I was a part of your movement and a part of the movement that us as collectives are doing for our culture. This is our culture. Okay. You see, what I'm saying. So somebody who's not within our culture trying to say that they were a staple right. in a community that they never got recognition for because they were trying to steal. Right. Then you trying to say, oh no! Nah. So I, I would just to, I had to come with it. I was I was amazed because I thought that I thank you for we real. we we, we, we all in the same sandbox, and I thought everybody was cool. And when I seen that person come at tone, I'm like, wait a minute! I thought this person in tone was like, mm-hmm. like no doubt, like mm-hmm. cool, cool. And I mean, that's what you get for thinking. Well, that's what I got for thinking. I was like, okay. It reminded me of high school, man. I had a situation like. I let somebody. I let the the starting quarterback of the squad borrow some CDs. He didn't want to give them things back, and I was about to pull up at this dude's house. <laughs> so you remember when I asked you? I was like, "Yo, should I pull up on this dude?" Yeah. And it was I, like I this remember. situation. My mama caught me before yeah. I was about to leave the house, and she ended up pulling up with me. And that so mom pulled up too. That saved the whole. I was about. To, I was about to go to this dude's front door, bring him out in this Kansas City. I wasn't playing that, bro. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. That's but crazy. It's, it's, it's well, not, that's why I hit you up. I was yeah. like, yo, should I pull up on like, this? Nah, thing? don't worry about it. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the like, day yo. you got you got a lot going for yourself. Like take the music, take the radio, take all that and shows, put that to the side. You got something that a lot of people can't say in America. You got a wife, a kid, mm-hmm. and y'all good. Mm-hmm. So if you're ready to jeopardize that, proceed. But if you care about yourself, think about what you accomplished so far. Married. Mm-hmm. Got a beautiful daughter. I still ain't seen this dude though. Hey, gonna have some it's words. not meant now, to be. Now let me now let me give because it's it's dope because I have two different perspectives here that are both very accurate. Mm-hmm. Like with, with what he said, a lot of people will see that. A lot of people who didn't grow up in the hood will see right. that and be like, "Damn, you was really about to fight over CDs, but the CDs is not the point. <laughs> it's, it's not, not the, it's the point. point. It's not the point. Yeah. It's, it's the, the principle. principle. Yeah. Right? Because you could then be like, "I right, I'm gonna just let him debo my my CDs." And now everybody's looking at you like, oh, you punk, you're a punk. Straight up. Yeah. So now you become a target, right? Yeah. So in certain situations, one must use discernment yep. in order to say, okay, was this was this worth it? Oh, this person is mad quiet. All they're doing is hating. I'm not even going to propose on them because that's what it is. But yeah. 
if the the opportunity presents itself to where you have to sometimes you make gotta, an example Sometimes you got to do that. You got to make an example. And it's bad this day and age to get made an example of because everybody got cell phones. Oh, they got oh, World yeah. Star, Ball Alert. Well, that, that means you, if you're going to go there, you got to go there, though. Yeah, hey. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to be on the right end of that. Because if you ain't, that's all yeah. over there. I try, to, yeah. I try to avoid it as much as possible, but, I mean, like you say, sometimes you just got to you gotta take it. You got to so. make an example. Exactly. We're yeah. talking with Steph Willis right here, Waves of the Bay, episode 22. Make sure you guys follow us on social media at Waves of the Bay. This is WMNF 88.5. I want to go ahead and have you ride the wave right now. I want to have you break out some some uh, some of that work. Keep it clean, please. Oh, okay. You, you, you can cut. You cannot cuss, but I don't care, like, the content you talk about. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Like, I'm going to really try. Can I say, instead of saying the curse, can I say F? Like, how the F or, like. I don't see why not. Okay. Okay. Cause Can I play games on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's gonna be that's gonna be our thing. You listen, know that, right? You're right. You know, that's gonna be our thing. Like when we I like got the inside jokes. Listen, so fresh. in a few years, like listen. when we big, like big, big. Right, right. We gonna still do that. You Can know I that? Play games on your phone. <laughs> that's gonna be like y'all past. Hold up, hold up, hold up. She did a thing all year, but. Can I play games on your phone? What's a secret phrase? Can I play games on your phone? Who sent you? What's Can the I play password? Games? Right. <laughs> Definitely go out and check Can I Play Games on Your Phone is a dope poem right. right now. Go check it out. It's it's out. But anyway, okay. So this is a very new poem that I did that I uh wrote. And we'll talk more about the inspiration for it after. Um but there is a comic coming out to associate with the poem okay. as a visual. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna outsource. I've already like drew because I'm I'm also an artist. I draw, I paint, I sculpt. You get into tattoo artists. A tattoo artistry. Yeah. So as soon you as I'm tattoos? soon as I'm ready to touch on some skin after all this is done. Been in this gym. I'm trying to get this chest right. You I know? got you. Oh, I got you. Put our kneecaps. Oh, I got you. Let's get it. Elbow. Put Rona. Rona. <laughs> Section Rona, Rona Survivor. Yeah, Rona you Section four, Survivor. Yeah. Rona. Four and a zero on both of your kneecaps. Forty. That's, right. That's right. That's right. You gotta remind yourself. <laughs> so, this one is, yeah, there's a lot of dope content coming out surrounding this one. It's called Die Dreaming. <clears throat> Was that really it for me? Somebody pinched me. Am I still sleeping? Cause there's no way, no way I could have died while dreaming. I had so many plans, people to meet, places to see, but meetings were cut short, sights left unseen, and the plans had me. I'm watching loved ones cry as they hear the news, and those who regret the times when they wished for me to lose. All the sorry for your losses in a circle of accusers. But as my weight shifts, it turns out I'm the biggest loser. Is this really it for me? Hmm. Somebody pinched me. Am I still sleeping? At any moment, I'll wake up to my alarm and hit the snooze a few times before leaving. Spend the day doing important things. For instance, I'll go online and talk about my dreams to people who won't listen. Then get angry at them for lacking support for the mission and not sharing the vision instead of me for coming up short with so many pieces missing. I'll make excuses for time wasted. I'll brag about how expensive my taste is even though I never tasted luxury. Mm. Take me to court, the people, judge, jury, all prove I'm a fraud with a taste for garbage, eff it, sue me. My mind eats news from feeds that are tarnished, crumpled up loose leaf. My eyes see bruises and progress that others don't see, and now it's sorry for your loss, but how the F did they lose me? I could have sworn I had some stuff to do this upcoming weekend. I was supposed to work a job, this man said his roof was leaking. I wonder how long before he finds himself seeking another roofer. Now I'm deep in. A week has passed since I have passed and I'm trying to let it seep in. I get to see how people act without being there. I feel like a creep and now I'm catching feelings because I'm not seeing them weeping. I would compare this, this stuff to madness. I've tried to break through door panels, move my lifeline, shake the flatness. But all I can do is change channels. See her alone on our mattress. Pictures of me being held up by some magnets, wings painted behind me on a canvas, all the living colors as I fade into the blackness. Mm. Last stop, Mom Dukes. 
I'm needing strength with no one to lonesome. I'm feeling lonesome. Like, damn, she was never supposed to bury her own son. A flash and some wind brings me to my living room. Such a familiar place. I see her laying on the couch, but I can't seem to see her face. I think my stomach turned as she did. She is sleeping. Is my shirt her pillowcase? She always used to brag about how good I used to smell and how loved she felt in my embrace. I turned away. This stuff hurts too much and I'm afraid of what she feels when she's awake. Unimaginable pain. Ma, I'm sorry. I miss you too. I start screaming, Ma, I'm sorry. I would have never took that route if, they, if I knew that they would harm me. I love you. The room began to shake. I turned back around and now my mother is awake. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's my, it's my turn? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to steal this one from uh, my man. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got to steal it from my man, Tone Capone. Uh-oh, uh-oh. uh-oh. Okay. Callan to the left of this. <laughs> I ain't got no poetry ready. He was ready. He was ready. I was ready for that one. Shout I had to steal that from Tone, man. Why he you uh, told me to do that? He, he did that at... Um, uh, Chill. Chill. Shout out to Lisa. We'll be talking to you soon. Yeah, he had the, you had the shirt on from my man Dennis Amadeus. Mm-hmm. See, I said his name without stuttering. Hey. I got better with it. I got Bro one of those shirts. Shout out. Right. I got one of those shirts. You say, ask me to do a poem. That yes. shirt is so comfortable. Yeah. It's dope. It's dope. But it I don't even dope. realize it until I'm out in public and they ask me to do poems. Right. I'm up here like, yo. Like, dang it, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I need if Dennis, if you're listening, I need one of those size large. A shirt that gets me questions or weird stares every time I wear it. The shirt that Talicia had, um, and it's a mouth, and it says, keep giving head. Mm-hmm. Every time I wear that shirt, they'd be like, okay, keep giving head. Go ahead and explain <laughs> explain right. that poem you just did for us, though. Okay. Once so, again, we're talking with Staffless right here, episode 22, Waves of the Bank. Okay, so, so many people die while dreaming. So many people die before they can reach their goals because they stay in a dream realm. None of the things that they dream about manifest themselves in their everyday life and reality. So you know how like when you play solitaire, Mm -hmm. if you you have free will when you play solitaire, you could move however you want, but if you move the wrong ways, you have no more moves left. That's it. That's what happens in real life. We have will to create our own decisions and move accordingly but if we move too far off of our intended path there's not going to be no more moves left and your life is going to end abruptly because you're no longer you're no longer serving the mission that creates the bigger picture so this poem was created to remind people you can die in the middle of what you think is a pursuit of your dreams because you're dreaming and you're not acting on those dreams there's so many people that I'll do it tomorrow uh, not next week And then Your tomorrow Your today is just that Because there's one day That we would never be late for And that's The day that we all call Look home Kobe Bryant man yeah, None man. of us thought We was losing him anytime Yeah so. you, got a, you got a real great mind Like you ever You ever thought about Playing chess You know how to play chess Okay so <laughs> Thank I'm you I'm pretty sure She's a chess so champion much. Uh No If she I'm, If she doesn't If you don't know chess I mm-hmm. think that's a game That you really should um, Get into it's Because you, you have A great mind Thank you And I love the way you think mm-hmm. And I think that that chess, not saying you need it, but chess is just, it's, it's a, a mentally challenging game to oneself to make the right move. I'm not saying that you're not, but mm-hmm. I just think that you just have a, a, a great, you have a great chess mind. Thank you. I appreciate that. And see, for me, nobody has ever taken the time to yeah. teach me. Like, all right, two things that I want to learn is chess and poker. Okay, and no, I it's and poker. spades and oh, spades. Whoa, you don't know how to play spades? I don't know. Everybody gives me the same Whoa. reaction. That's like the same reaction that Listen. I get when well, I say I watch games over. of Listen, <laughs> I tell you what. You want to learn spades? The next time I get all my family together, I'm gonna personally make sure you there. Cause Yo, I'm there. We, and we play it's ace like high the barbecue. I'm there. Listen, we play always because I want to get. I got Dave. I'm talking to you. You want to talk down on the south, saying we don't know how to play spades down here. We play however you play. We don't make excuses. We make adjustments. But okay. I'm gonna. Show, I'll take you to my folks. Yeah. And yes, we show me how yes. it how it goes. Now poker. I, last time I played poker, my little girl will be six years old this year. That went over everybody's head. Poker. Six years old. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. Damn. 
I tried. Ways in the Bay episode 22. <laughs> hey, wait, real quick. Real quick, you did say um, that you uh, you wanted to... Last time we did an interview, we talked about a, a thousand with feet. The, with the, a with thousand the feet? Yes, with the socks. With the socks, right? Yeah. I still want to get out there and pound pavement with you. So, so. I found a spot. Okay. Um, you familiar with downtown Tampa? No, not at all. So downtown Tampa, you know Curtis Six and Park? Nope. Um, amateur Works? Nope. Phew, he's getting close. Um, <laughs> y'all always get on me for saying that I'm in St. Pete, right? Okay, so, on the other side. But it's, I really Let don't me do know. It to this way. <laughs> downtown Tampa. Mm-hmm. You heard of that? Of course. Yeah. The river, you know the river. How they got the river that goes through downtown? Mm-hmm. It's an area down there where they used to have the um, the bus transit um, for Heartline down there, and they moved it like right up the block. Okay. But it's a lot of people, a lot of residents that's down there, and sometimes I go and just talk with some of them, some of them um, take socks for some of them because a lot of them still saying the same thing. You know, they feed us, they do this, they do that, but nobody gives us socks, mm-hmm. and it, it's quite crazy as it sounds. Your feet are the most important thing. Yes, I'm, I'm a guy. I like a woman that takes care of her feet. I appreciate that. Yeah. A woman that don't, we can talk to that. But Kick so, rocks. Some people just, <laughs> we just gonna keep some Tims for you. And pat, I'm just saying. Some, uh, oh <laughs> no, her feet is jacked up. We just gonna <laughs> quit that. You from? Excuse. What's your coronavirus? Excuse? Okay, All right. coronavirus. All right, <laughs> coronavirus has a lot of women. <laughs> Listen, the thing about it is that. We, that's a whole nother conversation But We did speak about it um, A thousand feet um, mm-hmm. For the people To give them socks And stuff like that And I like, just have Normal conversations With them So Even when I do gigs Down in that same little area um, And it's food And stuff left over I just go and get all of them While I take the food to them and Give dope. it to them And I sit and just have A normal conversation with them So people be looking like what are you doing? They're I'm like people too, exactly, and they got great stories. Oh right. my god, nothing changed because this. They didn't change them from being a human because the situation yeah. changes. Just you know, things happen sometimes. Some some of them it's their fault, and then some of them you know things happen. Exactly. So like right now, a lot of people, especially like right are now. heading in that direction because of you know the, the pandemic that's going on. You hear somebody cough, you hear somebody sneeze, man. You somebody <laughs> looking at them. It ain't no more nobody yeah. if they sneeze, ain't nobody saying bless you. They're like hold up now, stop. Bless me. Hold you up. see what I'm saying? So it's 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 crazy, but I'm still on that. We can put that together. Yeah, I'm just I just wanted to you know what I'm saying because you me know that you're still the on that way. branch to me, yes. and I just wanted to kind of like you know I would gladly touch, touch base. And so let we you got know. that, and uh-huh. we got spades. Yes, we gonna get you up. Okay, let's and this get is one it. thing let's I love, speed. man. Like we talked to Steph for this. It was like Listen. episode six or episode nine of the podcast initially, and now we circling back. It's been almost a year. Mm-hmm. So this past year, like a lot has changed for you. I know, like, you got a lot more stuff still in the works. Like, we haven't talked about a whole bunch of stuff, man. But it's always a pleasure to have you here, and I love seeing people's come up at the same time. So I, I want you to drop your social media information on people. Let them know where they can find you at right quick. Okay, so on Instagram, you can find me at Stephalously. It's like effortlessly with the ST in front. And definitely go check that out because we have IG Idol running for the next 24 hours on that. So definitely check that out. I also have um, Stephalus on Facebook, Stephalus regularly. Um, there you can find my uh, uh, my reviews and stuff like that. And then I also have YouTube, which is Stephalusness, like effortlessness, but with the S T in front. Mm-hmm. Shout out Graffiti Braids for keeping me straight the whole yes. past what year and, a, and some change, man. Like for real. Now Graffiti Braids is transforming as well. During mm-hmm. these times, we're going virtual <clears throat> with it. Um, Graffiti Braids is turning from a styling business to a virtual instructor course. Pretty soon. And that all falls in line with what you got working anyway. Yeah, pretty soon. Pretty soon, uh, my my courses, master styling courses, will be held virtually and I will be instructing my students on an online platform to also give you and provide an additional stream of income for you when it's time for all this stuff to be over and you could get your bread up, save up, and then be prepared for something like this to happen. You know what I'm saying? So we out here financially empowering and my courses also provide business um, knowledge. So not only will I be instructing you on how to do the the craft uh, or how to, to, to own your craft, but I will also be teaching you on how to approach a client, how to converse with a client, what what gives you the type of um, business that creates tips mm-hmm. and recommendations. So. Okay. Too much stuff going on. Make sure you follow her <laughs> on all the social media. 
once again, Stafford List in the building, man. Thank you for coming through. We appreciate you. Uh, outside of outside of all this, man, you you a dope person, like amazing person. My my daughter gives you hugs. So. I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's what it says. She don't right give she nobody, don't nobody. 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 She don't even she, give my son a hug. She will <laughs> give you. She give you that look like oh. Uh, uh, she give you that me. look like when people sneeze now. You're like, yeah. Hold up, man. <laughs> She had that Rona look way before hey, that, man. She was born with it. You know what that is? That's a Pisces thing. Yes, that's winning. That's what that is. That's New York yeah, right that, there. That's winning, but it's a that's Pisces thing. This is Ways of the Bay, episode 22. This is WMNF 88.5 Tampa. We'll be right back with y'all in just one moment. This is Tone Capone. And DJ Spaceship. And Saturday nights from 10 to midnight, we bring you Waves Waves of of the Bay. Bay. Right here on WMNF 88.5 Tampa. With the hottest interviews, the hottest music. You can submit your music for the Tampa Bay Watch segment at wavesofthebayradio at gmail.com or follow us on all social media at Waves of the Bay. Every Saturday, 10 to 12, make sure you come and ride the wave. Yes, sir.